Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Ken. Welcome back to Own You Learn. Let's do some maths. A circle is inscribed in a rhombus with length three times that of the radius of the circle, where the radius is greater than one. Find the size of the indicated angle, theta. Now, while you figure this out, have a listen to my short story, why I came up with this question. I taught a brilliant maths class of 15-year-olds, and one student made it a major point to say, your questions were way too easy, sir. Let's just say I took this personally more than I should have. I ran out of extensions, so I came up with this on the spot, which ended up being harder than anticipated. All right, here's my solution. Before doing any major calculations, let's label as much as we can. Let's connect the radius of the circle to where the rhombus is tangent to the circle. Let's do this for this radius too. This would form two right angles. We have now created the quadrilateral right kite where there are two right angles and one line of symmetry. The missing angle here can be expressed by recognizing the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. The two 90 degrees have a sum of 180, therefore there is 180 degrees remaining. We subtract theta from 180 to give us 180 minus theta. If I draw another radius to the top tangent of the circle, I would have formed another quadrilateral. This missing angle can be found by understanding the sum of angles around the point on a straight line equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, this missing angle is theta as well. We know we have a rhombus, therefore all the sides are the same length. This means the bottom length must also equal to 3r. All right, we're almost done labeling. This small little length on the base of the rhombus, I'll give the length of one, which means this length is also equal to one at the top. Therefore, the remaining length of the base can be expressed as 3r minus 1. Okay, everything's been labelled. We will now only focus on these two quadrilaterals. They are both right kites with the same angles. Therefore, they are both mathematically similar. They are the same shape but different sizes, which means the relationship between the corresponding lengths would also be the same. This means that 1 over r is equal to r over 3r minus 1. We can now solve for r by rearranging the equation. Multiplying by r on both sides, then multiplying by 3r minus 1, and then subtracting 3r and adding 1 to both sides of the equal sign. We end up with this quadratic equation. Using the quadratic formula, we can solve for r. a is the coefficient of r squared, which equals to 1, b is the coefficient of r, which is negative 3, and c is the constant 1. When we substitute these values into the formula, we can simplify after to get 3 plus minus square root 5 all over 2. We will calculate the two values of r. Using a calculator, we get these two values. Now remember, our r value must be greater than 1, so our r value is 2.618033988878. However, we'll just leave it in its third form of 3 plus square root 5 over 2. Now we have our r value, we can use it to find our angle. Going back to our right kite, we can half it to form a right angle triangle. This also splits our missing angle into two. Using trigonometry, we can find what half the missing angle is. Since r and 3r minus 1 are opposite and adjacent to the indicated angle, we would use the trigonometric relationship tangent. Inversing tangent will give us our value of half theta, and multiplying by 2 we give us our missing angle value. Let's substitute our opposite and adjacent expressions. And now substitute our value for r. Placing it all into a calculator, our value of theta is 41.8 degrees to three significant figures. And that's it. Did you get to the answer yourself? Did you use a different way? Leave a comment down below if you did. I love this class. The class I was talking to you about, the 15 year olds, they made me want to keep making problems like these. I can now finally share all of them with you guys to help improve your maths or just for fun. Regardless, thank you for watching and learning. There's more to come. If you like this video, please help by liking, subscribing and hitting that bell. And remember, when you reach your respective staircases, keep moving onwards and upwards. Have a lovely day, guys. Peace.